I'm Serge Packman from SkyComp Solutions, and today we're going to go over the welcome email from 3CX to get your extension up and running. When your phone administrator creates an extension for you, you're going to receive a welcome email to your email address that you can walk through to have a short introduction, set up your Windows application, configure your cell phone. This email has three attachments. Your first one is a PDF file that gives you a quick overview of getting started with 3CX. There's some great information in this PDF and it's worth taking five or 10 minutes to review it. It shows a high level overview of all the different features, how to configure them and gives you some ideas. You also, we'll talk about a little bit later, provisioning your cell phone, we have a QR code. There's a third attachment that by default, Windows doesn't understand. It's a .3CX config file. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. Your first step in making this work is to download and install the Windows 3CX application. The best way to do this is to Google Windows 3CX app. This should bring you right to the right location which gives you a link to the latest version of the app. So you'll want to scroll down on this download page to the download the Windows app. Remember, if you're a client of SkyComp Solutions, you don't need to do this on your own. Feel free to open a ticket with the help desk and we'll absolutely do this process for you and get everything up and running. So now this application is downloaded. I have to launch it, accept the license agreement, and run the install. Once the application's installed, you're not quite done. The application's there, but doesn't know anything about your extension. The great thing about 3CX is now back to your welcome email. We can just double click on the 3CX config and select open. And what this does is auto configures the application and logs you in. There's two methods of using this application. One is called CTI. That's working as a soft phone where you would use the microphone or speakers of your laptop to place calls. This is great for a laptop on the road when you're not close to your physical phone. You turn on CTI mode and you have a soft phone to deal with your extension. The other option, which is very cool and used when you're in the office, is to turn on to desk phone mode. When you turn on a desk phone mode, you actually pair this application with the physical phone on your desk. And that way, when you go to place calls, it will ring your phone and you pick up the physical handset. To do that, there's this icon up at the top. Right now, I'm on soft phone mode. If I click it, I can choose desk phone. It just takes a second for the application to change over. And we see this icon now has changed to a phone icon. That's telling us we're paired with our desk phone. We have the 3CX app installed and configured. One last step to make the integration with Outlook work is for you to close Outlook and reopen Outlook. And you'll find now when you reopen Outlook, you'll get this notice from Microsoft to install the 3CX Outlook add-in. If you don't see this pop-up, contact your 3CX administrator because they've likely not turned on the Outlook plugin for your extension, and they have to do that from your administration of your extension. When you see this, you simply want to click Install, and Outlook opens as normal, and we're ready to go. There's a couple features that I recommend changing, or a couple settings I recommend changing in the 3CX app once you've done this. To change these settings, you're going to want to go down to the gears icon down at the bottom of the 3CX app and advanced settings and integration. The first setting is under general. This feature, create new contact if not found, I always uncheck. What this feature does by default is if you receive a call, that call display number comes up on your phone. And if you're out, you do not have an Outlook contact for that, 
Outlook will create a new contact with that number already filled in. It's a neat idea, but I find it's more annoying for me than useful, so I always turn this feature off. Now, if we click on Microsoft Outlook, what we wanna make sure is both of our, or all of our contacts are checked. This is the integration between Outlook and the Outlook's contacts and the 3CX app. So in this case, I see both of my contact lists are checked, so I don't need to do anything more. I can click Save, Close, and we can click the back arrow here and back arrow one more time to return to our neutral state. So now we've gone over your 3CX welcome email, we've gone over installing the Windows app, and we've gone over configuring the Windows app and tweaking the settings inside of Outlook for the best performance of this app. Thank you very much for watching this video. Really hope you found it helpful.